close the doors, walk across the corridor. We got something to show you. Media is our record. Dominic, how are you? Hey, Tachi, thank you for having me today. This is really cool. I appreciate you. Thank you, and I appreciate you. And we don't hear that that often sometimes. So when somebody vocalizes it, it means a lot. So thank you. Hey, very cool. I, I'm excited to chat with you today. Great. Well, let's start to chat. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your company, what you do in your company. Okay, so I'm excited to do that, and I'm excited about what I do. I, it's interesting. I have a 15-year-old the other day, and we 15-year-old and 11 year old and we were talking about work and i said when i go to work he just got his first job and i said when i go to work it's like a party every day wow. I, sh I have a company wow. called motivation champs and i share inspiration positivity and smiles 24 7 and i help other people do the same so that's the root of what we do Great. All right. Well, tell us a little bit. Obviously, to motivate people in this day and age, you're going to need to use video, right? So what do you do with video? What is your video strategy in terms of motivation? Okay. So I believe there are so many great platforms to share your story. At our root, we are, we're a publisher and we help people with books. But that, what that means is I, I also believe in all I think a message should be shared. Let's say a message of inspiration that people consume that inspiration differently, just like they consume a medicine. So they mm. take it all differently. So some people are reading a book. Some people are watching a YouTube video. Some people are watching a, a movie or something like that. Some people are watching a FaceTime live, a Facebook live, uh, IG live, like you do IG live. I love your IG lives. So I want my authors, my content producers out there in all those places. And we as a business motivation champs, when somebody's looking for inspiration, we want to be in all those places 24 seven. And that's the mission is when you're looking for inspiration on TikTok, we're there. When you're looking on Instagram, we're there, Twitter, YouTube, we're going to be there and we're going to have quality content that inspires in some capacity. And that's what motivation champs does. It really helps people share their story, their that they overcame the, the positive things they did, the business tips they want to share. Um, they have, everybody has a story that needs to be told and we help people share those stories. So I'm, I think I'm hearing you say that you are ubiquitous. You are everywhere, right? Wherever there is a space or a platform for people to tell your stories or you're the people that work for you to tell their stories, you're there, correct? Our hope and Tachi, you're there, you're <laughs> everywhere. So my hope, my hope is that we can be everywhere, even in person. I want, cause some people are consuming that inspirational content in person. So we want them there. So our goal is to be on all those places and create the content that fits in all those places. So let's say TikTok. TikTok's a okay. different animal, understanding the animal. It's a different animal where there's dancing and singing and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that inspirational content can't work there. Short form inspiration, right? It's a different, your message could be taken in eight seconds or 30 seconds or a minute. It's just a different message. Like it's like your 30 second commercial. So when we're on YouTube, we do a longer form. Right. If we're working on screenplays, well, a screenplay is going to be two hours or maybe the stuff we're maybe some of the things we're working on should be a series. Maybe it should be a, a children's book series. You never know how that story should be told. And our my job is to curate that content and realize, man, that person, Tachi's got a great story. So many people could benefit that from that. Where's the best way or how many ways can we share her story? And that's that's what we're doing and trying to get better at. And if there's a place I'm not at, call me up, message me and say, Dominic, you are slacking. You need to be on this, this new app or whatever there is that out there that's going on. Wow. Okay. Well, you heard him. <laughs> he said, get at him. If there's some place you want him to be and you don't see him. So yeah. let me, let me ask you this in terms of how did you decide who your audience was when you were first doing these, starting to do motivational videos or put 
do put your video strategy together. How did you decide who your audience was? Huh? Strike one, strike two, strike three, probably. But I okay. am a believer. No, I am a believer that, I, like I, a lot of people talk about this why, and I am a believer in the why. So mine is to share inspiration, positivity, and smiles. And if I'm doing that every day in some capacity, then I've won. So when I, when you ask who did I make the videos for, I made the videos to tell a story. The bit, the authors that we work with the content producers it is to help them share that story so i never really looked at the end of the day it was this person has a valuable story let's help them share that story and that's that's the root and we're not we're never off mission whether it's making slime with my daughter or me out this weekend or coming up soon i'm running a mini triathlon it's sharing that story moving forward and we hope, and the thing about content creation is once you put it out into the world, like some of my videos might have five views, 10 views, 100 views. I have stuff with 100,000 views, 200,000 views. And when you put it out, it's just a quality piece of content that you believe in. And then when it hits or if it ever does hit, I know a year from now, if somebody clicks on that five tips to becoming an author or a story I did um, a discovering inspiration. That's a web series I have with my son where we go out and interview inspiring people. If somebody clicks on the interview where I interviewed Brandon Rumball, who gave two legs in Afghanistan, they're going to get con valuable content and they're going to be inspired by that interview. And that's all we do is just try to share that, make somebody smile today. And that's what, that's what we're all about. Wow. Okay. So it seems like you kind of have a message first type of approach to creating content and then that message finds its audience as opposed to specifically targeting an audience and then creating the message for them absolutely because i'm a, okay. i'm all about being authentic so i can only be the best dominic masky i can be so i can't i, I can't pretend to be something i'm not but at the same point right. let's say when it comes to inspiration when I went into, there's a gentleman, Rashid, the motivator in the south side of Chicago. And I went to Chicago. We went into the south side of Chicago and Rashid inspires the youth in Chicago. He's like a rapper, producer, Rashid, the motivator. So I did not have the same upbringing as, as Rashid. Our story is different. Now, I had a dad that was in the army that would have kicked my butt if I did anything wrong. His dad wasn't there. Um, so we grew up on different paths, but his story of inspiration is one that, damn, I want to help him share this message. And so it's a matter of seeing that that's a story that needs to be told. And then we yeah. figure out, like I said, the best way to tell that story. Wow. Wow. So give us some inspiration for someone who is there. There are many motivational speakers out there. There are a lot of people that are in this realm of inspiring others or the inspiration realm. How would you suggest that they get started creating videos I, I beyond just putting up some clips from a talk that they did? How would you get, what could they do that would really draw people in so that their message does resonate with folks? Okay. So I, I'm so passionate about this conversation here, right? Like this is, okay. this is my world of what I love. So first step that I want somebody to do that is getting ready to, I'm going to post videos. I'm going to post a video in six months. I'm going to post a video in two weeks. I'm going to post it on the 4th of July. Post the video today. It's going to take practice. It's going to take failure. It's going to take you putting yourself out there. It's going to take learning the buttons on the, on the phone. I was pitching a screenplay to a school district recently, and the school district said, the only reason we're having this conversation is because we watched some of your videos and we could see you could hold a camera. So they were able to see the development. So I want you to get out. Do before editing even take 10 do third do five 30 second videos start with 30 seconds if you can't get your message out in 30 right 
then how are you going to do two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 30 seconds first? Just what is it is you're going to talk about? I'm Dominic Damaski. I share inspiration, smiles, and positivity. Okay, that's 10 seconds. Okay, 10 more seconds is, and I help other people do the same. We do this through publishing, video creation, work with non nonprofits, in-person events. So that's stepping it up one step further. But it's all about practice. Get out there and do it. Step one, do it. What it, uh, President Lincoln said, he said, you want to be a good speaker, get punched in the face before you go up on stage. And so meaning whatever it is you're passionate about, talk about that and then get out there and try it. Take the, do those first couple videos. So how's that Tachi? Oh, that's beyond <laughs> what I was even, that's wonderful. It's great for people to have a roadmap. And I love for people to see that are in the same realm, in the same field of inspiration and trying to inspire people how to start because so often people don't know how to do it, what to say beyond recycling what they've already gotten from a talk or whatever they use, which is fine, but right. it's great to have some sort of roadmap. Go ahead. Yeah. And so in those talks, so let's say I've been paid by some of the biggest universities to speak and I've spoke for an hour or two hours. I could do that same presentation in 10 minutes. I could do it in 30 seconds. Like, so I was a restaurateur and I used to do the recipe for success. I would do 10 tips or five tips or whatever, four tips, recipe for success, pick yourself back up to tell the world your goals persist, stay accountable, never give up. And then I could do that same speech in an hour, a half hour, and I would just practice the different stories that I needed to add to that to become better and ready for those stages. So I'm such a believer in practice, 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 practice. I'm, we could go like this. I could turn here and I'm arm. Get your Step two, get yourself a tripod. Step one is just do it. You, I'm not saying go live first. I'm saying do 30 second, one minute videos. Then pick one of the best five and post it somewhere. And if you get good feedback on it, do a second one on that. If you get better feedback, do a whole minute, do two minutes. And that is where you start. And it's a great place to start. Wow. I, I, I am super happy that you came to share all of your wisdom and expertise and just you with us today. Thank you so much, Dom. Hey, Tachi, I, I saw you and I was like, I have to be connected. She's on fire. So I love oh. what you're doing and I'm <laughs> pleased to be here today. Thank you. And we love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Definitely. Which means that the audience is going to love what you're doing as well. Thank you. So thank you so much for being here today. Wow. How amazing was that? Dominic, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all of that wonderful knowledge with us. So now those of you that are in the motivation space, that are in the inspirational space, even in the author space, you have no excuse not to be doing videos because he just gave you some great tips with how to start beyond just recycling what you've done in talks already, which is great, but now you have more things that you can do. So as usual, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some value out of this. And I hope that what we did here today and always do is to help you to be more er with your video. I'll see you next time. Cheers.